Hey, Ina Kier, founder, publisher, business of architecture, co-founder of Architect Marketing Institute, as you probably know. And look, I was just thinking about you this morning. I'm kind of getting a late start this morning because my kids have been up really late this week. Our family's into theater. My wife was always into theater as a child. And so two of our kids are in a production here locally in Visalia, California of Les Miserables. And my little eight-year-old son has one of the leading parts, which is pretty exciting, you know, for him. So tonight is opening night. So we've been staying up late and uh, getting up a little later than usual. And it's given me some time to reflect. And that's why I wanted to record you this quick little message, because I got a message from one of my mentors a couple days ago that I thought would be really valuable for me because it was impactful. I'm sorry, it would be really valuable for you because it was impactful for me. All right. So what I'd like you to think about is your, what are your top priorities in life? It's my question for you. What are your top priorities in life? You may have two or three that stand out. You may have up to five or even more. What are they? Is it your relationship with your partner, your spouse, your wife, your family? Is it uh, improving your business? Improving your cash flow and your income, is that one of your priorities right now? Is it perhaps your health? Is it perhaps your retirement and your future? You know, throughout our lives, our priorities will change. And so your priorities aren't going to be the same as mine, uh, depending on what stage you are at in life, right? So what I'd like you to do is just take out a piece of paper and write down, this will just take literally a minute and it will be super powerful, I think, if, it, if it's anything like it was for me. And write down your top four or five priorities, okay? Here's mine. Uh, so I wrote mine down right here, you can see. And my first one, uh, top priority, is my relationship with my maker. All right, my creator, whatever you choose to call it, my spiritual connection to uh, the, the universe, the abundance, the love. Uh, for me, that is uh, my heavenly father. All right, for you, it might be something totally different, and that's okay. Uh, number two is my relationship with my wife. So I want to have a passionate, uh, giving, serving, fulfilling, fun relationship with my, my partner in this life. You know, we're raising a family together, and so that is my number two uh, priority. My number three is my relationship with my children, each of them individually, making sure that I'm giving them the best education, the best nurturing, the best love to help them succeed and help them to serve the world in the way that they were called and meant to do. And then number four is financial independence. So that would be you know, everything that I help architects with, helping architects around the world uh, make their practices better, make their lives better, improve the world through the power of design, and as a result, be able to lay a good, solid fa financial foundation for my family. All right, so those are my four priorities. Now, you're going to have different ones, but what I want you to do is on, the, on one side of the sheet of paper, you're going to have, let's say this side over here, you're going to have your priorities, your four or five priorities, and then on the other side of the paper, I want you to talk to write down what are the three or four things that you spend the most time on every single day. All right, write those down. And for me, uh, it was a startling realization because I looked at my list and I said, oh no, uh, my, my priorities were not lining up with the way that I was spending my time. And this is a little reminder we need sometimes because ultimately I know that if the actions I'm taking every day if they're not congruent with the priorities that I have, that can only lead to disappointment, to dissatisfaction, to lost opportunities in the future. So sort of like a, a knock on the side of the head and said, hey, Nick, wake up. Let's be more aware of what you're doing. So just do that. And if you're on a page right now where you can share a comment or something, I'd love to hear, you know, what are your, what are your priorities? Of course, that's personal. If you don't want to share, that's fine. But, you know, take a look at your priorities and then take a look at the three or four things that you're doing every day that are taking the most time and the most effort and ask yourself the question, do they line up? It, are your priorities congruent with where you're spending your time? And if they're not, like they weren't exactly for me, what changes do you need to make in your life to make sure that they are congruent? And how can you keep that focus on a day-to-day -day basis so you don't get caught up in this hectic life and you can stay focused to the North Star which is uh, your, your true purpose in life and your priorities. All right, so I hope the, hopefully that is powerful for you. I believe in you, I believe in what you're doing. So get out there, carpe diem.
Today is a beautiful day. It is a beautiful week. Get out there and conquer the world.